hi guys and welcome to my channel today i have a goodwill haul for you so i went to my goodwill local goodwill today and i was kind of expecting to get like one of those bags that has like all the polishes together and it's got like five dollars and it's like all used polish and like you get some good things but some of them might be like completely dry and crusty i did not find any of those but i found a ton of brand new polish um my goodwill they're they're like they get overstock or something like that because they get like a lot of new stuff and like it'll be like just a certain amount like a pile of like things like they'll get a bunch of purses that look exactly the same or scarves or brand new like today they had brand new like kids backpacks and they had like 20 of like the same one um so i found some brand new nail polishes and they were individually priced so i paid a dollar fifty each but they are more of high-end polishes except for one i have one sally hansen and then the next step up is I, well i have one sally hansen one sinful colors and a, a bunch of essies and then there's several more like high-end boutique kind of uh brands and i ended up with 29 nail polishes which means i paid like 50 bucks um but like i said they was all completely new they had like several shades like of the same of they had several bottles of the same shade which i just got one of each that i liked i added it up and if i would have bought these online new like they are new but if i had bought them like online uh from the brand um i would have spent 300 dollars on these 29 nail polishes so 50 bucks is not too bad and i was actually really happy with the shades like i kind of picked i was kind of picking and choosing which ones i wanted i can't talk today but anyway um one thing oh my gosh it was such a bear they um had these big price stickers that like covered the whole bottle so like they were covering labels some of them i had to just go by the bottle shape because i couldn't even read what the brand was but yeah like literally the stickers were as big as the bottle there's a train coming of course always one just passed so i thought i was in the clear but no there's another one so i had to peel those stickers off and i had a different manicure on today but it did not last because i was under the water and i'm bad i was using my thumb i know i shouldn't have but it was picking some of my manicure off and i did have to use like a bottle of goo gone which saved my life saved my hands but all my, my hands were so raw like I have like skin coming off of this finger from just like trying to rub off the residue of those stickers. It was awful. Like they couldn't use tiny stickers. They had to use big old massive honking stickers wrapped around the whole bottle. It was awful. But it was worth it because I got some really good polishes for a really good deal. So let's zoom in, do some swatches, just show you what I got. I'm really excited for it. So we're starting off with the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Polish in the shade uh hell cherry this is just like a really pretty like orange red shade it reminds me of like a pepper and i can get this shade or these polishes at my local walmart but uh they're still more expensive than a dollar fifty and it was brand new and i really like this shade for summer i just think this is so pretty like in the sunshine when you have a little bit of tan and it's like bright but also just kind of like spicy and i really really liked it and i like the formula of these polishes polishes really well as well so this is what it looks like in one coat and it's very opaque like honestly you probably wouldn't even need a second coat i do two coats on all of these polishes except for one because it was completely opaque in one coat so i do go in with a second coat and you know it performs very well like it's just a good quality polish um like I said, I really do like the Insta Dry formula. This is the second one I have of this, and I, so far I really like both. But yeah, this is just a really pretty, hot, summery color. Next, we have the Sinful Color shade uh, Blueberry Smash, and this is just a really pretty, like, purple leaning blue with like these black, like specks in it. So it's supposed to be like like a little blueberry with the seeds, and this is actually a scented polish. But this one was really, really pretty and unique. I love the little black specks in it. It definitely gives you that like fruit, uh, fruit seeds kind of vibe. And I love how it leans a little bit purple, kind of like a deep periwinkle. And this one does dry matte, which I think actually looks really, really pretty. But if you want it to last longer, you're going to want to do a glossy top coat. 
So you can see I went ahead and labeled my swatch stick in between swatches so that I needed to get that done anyway. So that just gave the polish time to dry while I was labeling it. So here it is in two coats. It builds up really well. There's a very even like distribution of the little specks. And so yeah, this is just a really unique polish. I'm very much looking forward to wearing this. I just think it's fun and a little bit funky. And the fact that it's scented, you know, is kind of fun as well. Now I'm going into my Essie polishes. This one along with one more must have come from like a back to school collection. This one's called Sharpen Up and it's literally the color of a number two pencil. I love yellow polishes. I know they can kind of look funky, but I just love them. Even if I don't wear them very often, they're just something I really like to have because I love the color yellow. And you know, this is just a good classic Essie polish. It works really well. It's very bright. And again, I'm gonna say this, about a lot of shades but it's very summery I'm looking very much forward to summer and spring but yeah that is sharpened up by Essie and here I go in with a second coat and you know it doesn't build up a ton because it was pretty opaque in one coat but yeah it's just basically a school bus or yellow number two pencil kind of color and I really like it here I'm trying to figure out which finger it's best to try them out on. I do figure it out a little later on in the video. So. so this is the other one from the Back to School collection. I'm not sure what the collection's called, but I'm just going to call it Back to School. But this is called Homework It, and this is one of those Prugly colors. I love pretty ugly colors. This one literally looks like pea soup or something like that with like a tinge of yellow in it. But, you know, it's a green. It's kind of like a olive dusty olive green if that makes sense but yeah I love this my husband hates these shades but I like them and I was super excited for this one again trying to figure out which finger is best to show the swatches on and like I said I do figure it out in the video that you know makes it look a little better but trial and error I'm still learning so now I'm just going in with a second coat just to build it up a little bit. This one for a kind of a lighter, not really pastel, but you know, like a light yellow toned uh, nail polish. It actually had really good coverage in one coat. But yeah, I absolutely love this one. And again, that is Homework It by Essie. This one is a really pretty like metallic blue. And I'm adjusting my camera, trying to figure it out. But I don't get the name of this one. I didn't realize it was out of focus. But it's called Main Attraction. And it's just a really pretty, like, ocean kind of blue is what it made me think of. It's pretty and metallic and shiny. It's got, a, like, a little bit of a green, like, aquamarine kind of tone to it. So I'm excited to wear this one at the pool. I think it's going to be really pretty. Um, it is a little bit more sheer, which, you know, can be pretty typical of more, like, metallic shades. But it does build up really well. And again, just testing out different ways to show you the color. So here it is on two coats. And you can see it builds up really nicely. And again, it's just a really pretty, like, it makes me think of the pool. Like, it's the color of the pool water and the pool lining. So, yeah, really pretty. I think it's going to be really great when I have a tan. Now we have another shade that could be considered kind of like a pretty ugly shade. It's like a yellow leaning nude shade. It's all or nothing is the name of it. So it's not really a tan. It's definitely like a yellowed tan. If that makes sense, that's probably making no sense at all. So it's kind of just like a dusty, peachy, yellow nude so depending on your skin tone this could look really good or it could look really bad personally i liked it on mine i have a lot of pink in my skin so i can get away a little bit more with like the yellow toned polishes without it clashing too bad so there's that one and i feel like this one would be really good for fall so again just going in with a second coat just to build it up it's just a nice cream finish. It has really good coverage. You know, it spreads really well. Kind of reminds me of peanut butter now that I said spread. But, yeah. So, that's all or nothing. And I'm a really big fan of this one as well. I feel like it's just a little bit unique, a little bit different. Some people might think it's an ugly color. But, 
I think it's really cute. Okay, going strong with the pretty ugly shades. This is a green toned yellow. It's actually called taxi hopping. You can see it in the thing. I didn't realize it was out of focus, but it's not a taxi yellow at all. Like it's very much green. I would almost consider it more green than yellow, but I guess it just depends on who you ask. It's kind of like a dusty version of a tennis ball. Like it's not quite as vibrant. It's a little bit more dulled down. But yeah, it's just another pretty ugly color. And again, obviously I'm a big fan of it. Those are some of my favorites. And you know, it layers really well. Oh, and this is my 100th polish. polish. Just notice on my little sticker. And now I'm finally figuring out how to show the swatch on my hand. But yeah, that is taxi hopping, and I just think it's really pretty. Like, it's a funky yellow green, and I'm a fan. Now we have like a warm brown shade. This is called Saffron the Move, and this is kind of like a camel color. It does have like a little bit of like an orangey yellowy tone to it, so it's not just like your everyday brown. It's not chocolatey at all. It's very much a warm, almost caramel color, a little bit you know, a little bit unique, got those yellowy tones that I've been really, really liking. Obviously, I was very attracted to them. So here it is in two coats, or going in with the second coat anyway. And again, these are Essies. They all performed very well. They was pretty opaque in one coat, and none of them needed more than two. And yeah, it's just a really unique, caramely, cream shade. I do think this one would be another one that was really good for fall, so I'm excited to pull it out then. And again, that is Saffron the Move. And yeah, it's just a unique brown shade. Now we have a holographic special effects topper. It's just like a silver hollow. It's nothing overly crazy, but it's just called um, Hollow FX Filter is the name of it, I believe. I had trouble opening this one up. It hadn't been opened before, so it was being a little bit stubborn, but I did finally get it. So this has a pretty like even distribution of like the glitters. Really kind of hard to tell on the swatch. It's not like super opaque or anything. So this is definitely a topper. I mean, you could wear it on your own if you just wanted something very subtle, but if you want it to really show up, you're going to want to probably lay it over top of something. I did show it over a swatch just to try to get a little bit of an idea, but it was kind of hard to tell anything by that. So I do go in with a second coat, obviously. Honestly, I may have went in with three coats on this. I believe I do, but we'll see in a minute. Your guess is as good as mine, but here it is on my nail. I think that you can kind of get an idea can't really see the holographic very well, and honestly, I couldn't see it a ton in person. I think it'll be better if it's layered over a dark shade, but on its own, it wasn't doing anything overly crazy. It mostly just kind of looked like a silver sparkle more than a holographic, but I mean, it's pretty. There's nothing wrong with it, and I'll definitely get use out of it, but it's nothing I'm like jumping over the moon over. Okay, so now we're getting into some of the older bottles that are twisted. At least I don't think they make these anymore. Pretty sure these were like the old ones. But again, this is new as far as like not being used or opened. And this one is called Fab Florals. And this is a very like deep burnt rust orange. And oh my gosh, this is like the epitome of a fall shade. And I'm pretty sure this might be the one that's a one coater. Like I don't even think I went in with two coats on this because it was like completely opaque. But this is like the perfect fall shade. It's like the epitome of a fall shade. Actually, I would like this as a lipstick. That might be weird for a lipstick, but I like it for a lipstick. So again, that is Fab Florals. Now we have the shade all checked out. And this is a beautiful cool tone brown. It just reminds me of like a Hershey's Kiss or chocolate bar. Like it is just the perfect cool tone brown. I love warm tone browns, uh, so I don't have like a lot of cool tones, 
But if I was ever in the mood for one, this is the perfect one. I think it's so pretty and kind of unique. And again, the formula was just like all the other ones. It was very opaque in one coat, but I do go in with a second. It builds up well on itself. No complaints. These are just good polishes. Like, I'm pretty sure everybody's a pretty good fan of Essie. Like, they have a pretty good name for themselves. It's just being good everyday polishes. So, yeah, that is all checked out, and it's definitely, like, a cool tone gray brown, and, yeah, I'm a fan of it. I think it's pretty. Okay, so now we're back in Prugly territory. I absolutely love this one. It's one of my favorites of the haul, but it's this really pretty, like, deep olive green. It's called Totally Plaid. So, it was probably came out in a fall collection, if I had to guess, just by the name and the color. But, yeah, it's just like a dusty olive. It's a lot like um, Homework, it, I believe, was the one we swatched earlier, but it's a little bit deeper. I had a buzz stuck on my swatch stick. But, yeah, it's just a really pretty olive, dusty green. And it's like a mid-tone. It's not too deep to where it's like a foresty green. And it's not so bright as like a Kelly green. So I feel like this would be very flattering on most people. I personally loved it on my skin tone. And I'm very excited to wear it. I'm not going to wait till fall. Like I'm definitely going to be like pulling out these Prugly colors. Because they're honestly my favorite. <laughs> so again that is Totally Plaid by Essie. And I am a huge fan. Okay so this one. Oh my gosh this one. It is like a metallic grayed out blue it's called brocade crusade i believe is how you would say it but i knew i was gonna like this one it has a little bit of like a purple tone to it it's kind of like a blue grape bubble gum kind of color i don't know if that makes any sense but my eyes lit up when i swatched this color like it was already pretty in the bottle and then i put it on the swatch stick and i was absolutely in love it's just like this deep steely blue I love a deep blue anyway I have a lot of blue polish and sometimes bright blues are not my favorite I like if they have a little bit of depth to them or I like them if they're really really like pale muted like almost white blue sometimes the real bright ones aren't my favorite but this one I am obsessed with it actually might be my next manicure there was just something about it I felt like it was so pretty on my skin skin tone and yeah it was just kind of unique i definitely didn't have any like it and it had a little bit of extra something to it that i just really loved now we have the polishes from olive and june this was one of the brands i was super excited about i had heard of these but i've never owned them basically if you couldn't get it at walmart or the dollar store i didn't have it so i was really excited to try these they are a little bit more high-end and this one, along with one other one, I wasn't for sure if I was going to get because it said nail treatment. So I didn't know if it was like a cuticle thing, but it's actually a nourishing nail polish. And honestly, the swatches do not do these justice because they're supposed to be kind of like a French manicure kind of look to it. Like sheer, your nails but better kind of thing. And honestly, it behaves like a almost like a really thin acrylic like it really builds on itself I don't know if you can tell but it gives you that gel thick look to it and not in a bad way like it's not a bad thick it's a, very much a good thick and actually you're going to see the one that I have on my nails in this video I messed my nails up so don't judge it by that that was my fault but this one is called BEB -E is the name of it it's like initials for something I'm not sure but this one's more of a like light tone like white cream almost but yeah I was very impressed with this on my nails I'm glad that I put it on my nails before I put it on the swatch stick because you couldn't really tell much about that so this is the one I have on my nails and it's called CCT and the reason I tried this out is because my nails had been through it with trying to take all these stickers off and my nails were also stained from my previous uh, manicure that I had on it really stained my nails and I just felt like they needed something and because this said a nail treatment polish I was like okay well it's simple it won't stain my nails and it might be good for them so I put it on and I'm absolutely in love it's actually one of my favorite manicures I've had in a while 
And like I said, I did nick them a little bit, but that was my bad. I didn't let them fully dry. But you need to try these polishes, like these ones specifically, because they truly act like a builder gel or a thin acrylic. And like I said, the swatch doesn't do it justice. You can kind of see the difference on my hand versus the swatch. But like they're not fully opaque, but they're not supposed to be. It's supposed to give you that I have acrylics on kind of look. And I personally just love it. Like it feels good on my nails. They're just super pretty. It gives them a very plush look to them. And honestly, I've never liked a polish this light. Like I have some in my collection I'm probably going to declutter. But these I just loved. Absolutely love them and plan on keeping them. So next we have another shade by Olive and June. And the shade is JM. They have a big thing about initials. But this is just a pretty like dusty bubblegum pink. So it's not quite as vibrant as like bubblegum. It's got a little bit of a muted tone to it. But, you know, it's still that kind of like Pepto-Bismol kind of pink. And these are not my favorite shades. I'm not going to lie. I think it's because I have a lot of pink in my skin. Uh, where I like some of the more yellow-toned, warm-toned kind of shades. Uh, rather than the real like pinky tone. But it is a pretty pink. It's a very good polish. Like, I'm a fan of this brand. And I'm glad I have it because you never know. You never know. But, yeah, it's a good shade to have, but not my favorite on myself. Like, look, it literally looks like the color of my hand underneath it because I'm so pink. <laughs> but, yeah, it's a pretty pink, but it's just not my favorite color in general. But that has nothing to do with the brand or the polish. It behaved great. Now we have a pink that's more up my alley. It's definitely darker and a little bit more vibrant. And this one is called Cherry Crush. And yeah, it's just a really pretty, like, almost hot pink, I guess is what you would call it. That's what I always called it, you know, growing up. It's a, just a hot pink, a little bit of, like, a reddy tone to it. But yeah, it's very bright and vibrant and definitely more up my alley as far as a pink goes and I feel like this would be so pretty for spring and summer actually I wore one last week or the week before that was very similar to this maybe a little bit more cool tone this one's pretty warm at least I feel like it's warm sometimes I'm not good about judging if something's warm or cool but yeah it's just a pretty vibrant bright pink and this is definitely something that I feel like I can get away with on my skin tone a little bit better and yeah it's pretty it's just a very classic color okay so this is a shade I absolutely love it's just a beautiful bright orange with that like redness to it a lot like the first one that we swatched actually but it's just so pretty like these are just one of my favorite colors I love orange on my skin I just feel like it's very complimentary um this one's called lava and yeah I feel like that's the perfect um name for it it's a very like red based orange it's not very yellow at all but yeah, it's just beautiful. And again, I'm just picturing me like with a tan this summer. That's kind of where my mind's at right now. But yeah, it's a very like vibrant, spicy orange. And I am a fan. And Lava is a perfect name for it. Like it really does have that like hot, spicy vibe to it. I'm definitely going to be looking into getting some more Olive and June polishes. I was just very impressed with these. I like the packaging. I like the formula. And if nothing else, I'm definitely going to be keeping the one I have on my nails in my collection because if I want a French manicure, that's probably the one I'm going to go with. So, yeah, I was just really impressed with these. They are a little bit more expensive than drugstore, but I think they are worth it. They're better than drugstore. Next, we have another brand that's new to me. This is Ella and Mila, and I'm pretty sure this is the brand that's like vegan and like 17 free and all of that. Um, this shade here is called Honeymoon Bliss. And it's just a really pretty, like, cool-toned, grayish, neutral. Like, it's a very light grayish color. And honestly, I'm really excited to wear this one as well. I feel like it's a very classy color if you want something that's not too over the top. 
but still want your nails to look nice and polished and put together. It'd be a very work appropriate color. And I don't mean to say that like it's boring. It's definitely, I don't feel like it's a boring polish. I feel like it's a very pretty polish, but it's something that's going to work for pretty much anybody and everybody. It's just a very pretty, cool toned, neutral. And honestly, I really like this one on my skin too. I felt like it was, it was like close to my skin tone, but it didn't like clash. Like there was something about it I felt like looked very finished. So I'm really excited to wear this color. So again, that is Honeymoon Bliss, and yeah, just a very pretty, like, everyday shade. So another one from Ella and Mila, this is another, like, light neutrally shade. It's Lilac Luster, so it's, like, a neutral, but it's got that, like, purple pinch to it. But again, I feel like you could get away with wearing this, like, in a work environment. This one did have some dried polish around the rim, so I think someone must have opened it in the store, um, but yeah, like it's a completely full bottle and like it's not dried out or anything. I just think someone might've opened it and had a little bit of a, a little bit of a spillage around the, the rim, but yeah, it's a very like white neutrally kind of base, but it's just got that purple tinge to it. And I think it's beautiful. I'm so into this kind of purple right now. I'm obsessed with like a lilac -y, lavender, light, bright purple. It's just perfect for spring. And again, I feel like this on tan skin is going to be gorgeous. So here it is compared to the Honeymoon Bliss. You can see it's a little bit more like purpley, where Honeymoon Bliss is a little bit more pink. Both of them are cool toned. Like this one might have made the other one look less cool toned, but they are both cool. But look at that on my skin tone. I feel like it's so flattering. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like it was so pretty. But again, that is Lilac Luster by Ella and Mila, and I'm very excited to wear this one. It's just, I don't know, I just think it's so precious. Now we have the pink version, pretty much. This is a very soft baby pink. It's called So In Love. It's a little bit less on the neutrally, like, you know, nudie side. Like, it's definitely a baby pink. It's got a little bit more color to it, I feel like, than the previous two. But... Again, it's very pretty. I think I like this one better than the light pink that we had earlier because it's not so bubblegum. Like, it still is kind of that white, neutrally, can kind of get away with it at work kind of shade. Like, it's not overly um, bright to where it feels like it clashes with my skin too much. I don't prefer it as much as I like the purple or the more cool tone, beigey one that we saw first. But it is very pretty, and I'm glad I picked it up. But it kind of just, it's so close to my skin, like all that pink in my skin. But I don't hate it. I will get use out of this one more than I will that very first pink one from Olive and June that I showed you. Now we have like your classic gray medium tone polish. This one's called On the Runway. It's definitely just a very neutral gray. It's not overly like blue or purple, or anything like that. I feel like it's just right in the middle, and it's like a medium tone. It's not too dark. It's not too light, but yeah, it's just a very classic gray, very good formula, and I was happy to have a darker shade in this uh, polish as well because this was all the colors they had in this brand, so after trying the light pastels, I was excited to try something a little bit in a darker shade just to kind of see how it performed. And honestly, I'm very impressed with how opaque the light shades were because those are not always the easiest to get like opaque and smooth in two coats, but they were really good. But anyway, back to this gray. Again, I feel like this is a perfect fall or winter shade. It's just very like neutrally and deep and a little bit like moody and I really liked it. So that's on the runway and it's just very classy and classic. Now for another new to me shade. This is Nailtopia and this is the only bottle of this brand or even this color. Like this was the only bottle they had. So I don't know if this was new or used but it's called Glow Up. And honestly I bought this for the bottle. Like I love the color yellow. Like we talked about that. It's very much like a school bus yellow again. Very close to sharpen up. I believe I compare them. It's a little bit brighter. This is very much like a sunshine yellow very bright and honestly it performed so well for a yellow because yellows are hard like a lot of times 
they are not opaque and this was almost completely opaque in one coat i did do two but i would have bought this for the bottle alone i love the cap how it looks like a little like dropper even though it's not and just the embossing on the bottle. I think this is beautiful. And it is a pretty yellow. Like it's a yellow polish. Nothing overly special about it. But I did like it. And the formula was really good. And like I said. It could have been any color. And I was going to buy it for this bottle alone. And I'm looking into this brand. Because I did like the formula. So here it is next to Sharpen Up. And you can see it's a little bit lighter and brighter barely like ever so slightly I don't even know how much you're gonna be able to tell on camera but y'all that bottle is gorgeous <laughs> okay so now for what I'm the most excited over is this 10 over 10 brand I love these square bottles I love the little white cap this one is called Madison it's just a beautiful like dusty pink like I feel like this is a very flattering pink but I had never heard of this brand but I just really like the bottles and I figured I would pick it up and then when I looked it up, I realized they were like $12 a bottle. And I think you can get it at Target. But they also sell it at like Saks Fifth Avenue. That was like the first thing that popped up. But anyway, I was very, very impressed with the formula on these. And I liked the brushes. Again, love that square bottle shape. And as far as this color, it's just a very dusty, cool toned, pinky. Almost got like a little bit of like a graziness to it. Just, it's very pretty. Like, I honestly really like this pink. Like, I was talking so much smack about light pastel pinks earlier in this video. And now I'm like, oh my gosh, but I like this one. But honestly, it's very close to what I had on my nails. But it's just got a little bit of something to it. It is close to my skin tone again. But it's not got that bubble gum factor to it that I just don't personally like on myself. It's very neutral. Okay, so now we have another pink, and this one's a little bit more of like a rose, light pink rose color, and it's in the shade Watts, and again, this is a very like work appropriate, everyday shade. If you're not somebody that likes something over the top, which I do like things over the top, but if you do like to keep it a little bit more on the safe side, but still pretty, I feel like this is like the perfect color. Like it's definitely got some pigment to it has some rosiness to it maybe like a smidgen of like a little bit of like a pink not pink peach maybe not peach I don't know but it's like a blush I feel like this would be a really pretty blush color so it's not like overly bubblegum like again it's very very dusty very dusty rose I guess is what I would call it but it was completely opaque in two swatches and I thought it looked good on my skin tone, very close to my skin tone in areas, but I thought it was flattering at the same time. So that was Watts. Now for one of my favorite polishes of the entire haul, and it's this beautiful, dusty, grazy purple, and this is in the shade Sutton, and it's just got this very pretty dustiness to it. It's a little bit pink, mostly purple very just elegant and neutral again like it's a color without being overly like in your face like a very pretty everyday shade but I think this is so pretty it's just something about it I just think it's so like flattering I'm just really into purple right now I don't know what's got into me like certain purples not necessarily dark purples but this like dusty mauvey purple yeah uh I love it. Absolutely obsessed with it. And again, I feel like this would be really pretty for fall. So that is the shade Sutton. And yeah, I think it's beautiful. Okay, so now we have this shade Austin. And again, it's a very dusty blue. Like, I feel like I've said dusty a thousand times, but there's something about these shades in this brand. They're just so, like, muted and subtle, but, like, also vibrant at the same time. Like, so opaque. Like, look how, like, beautiful that is. But there's just something about it that's, like, understated. I feel like this is a brand for, like, classy women, if that makes sense. Like, if you are wearing chanel and you've got like a gucci bag 
and you're 45, but you want a blue polish, this is the polish you're going to use. I don't know if that made any sense at all, but I just feel like they're so classy. And I don't know if it's because I know that's a little bit more of a high-end brand, but there's just something about it. Like, look at that. That is beautiful. That is like the most beautiful blue polish. Like, it's not too deep. It's not too bright. But yet, it's still vibrant and blue. And again, that one's called Austin, and I absolutely loved it. Definitely going to be looking into this brand some more. There's something about it that I just really liked. Okay, so next we have the most bright and vibrant uh, shade that I got from this brand. And this is called Delancey. And it's just a really, like, pretty, vibrant, like, rose pink. I feel like that's the color of roses. It looks like the color of roses. But um, I feel like this would have been really good for my Pantone video that I did. But I did that before I got this polish. But yeah, this one is a little bit more on the bright and kind of out there side. It has a little bit of like a blue blueness to it. I don't know if you could see that, but it's definitely got like a little bit of like a blue cool tone in there. But it is very much like a rosy pink. I feel like this is just a classic shade. Like everybody has this shade. Everybody has worn this color at some point in their life. It's pretty much flattering on anybody. Like it's just a classic rosy bright pink. And it is pretty. Not my favorite color, but it is pretty. Again, that is Delancey, and yeah, she's cute. Okay, and lastly, we have the shade Cliff, and this is just like the most perfect, warm, medium-toned brown. Like, if that doesn't just make you think of like caramel and chocolate and dessert, like it makes me hungry. <laughs> I've been dieting, like just to remind you, I haven't had sweets in forever. And this just really makes me want some caramel or caramel. I say caramel because I'm as country as country gets. But yeah, this one's called Cliff. And I think this is beautiful. And I'm going to be a broken record here. It's a beautiful fall shade. And this one is very close to um, one of the Essie polishes that I had swatched earlier. At the top of my head, I cannot remember what it's called, but I do compare them here in a minute. And there is some differences, but I just think this is so pretty. It, it's reminding me very much of something. Okay, so here it is next to the Essie shade, and it's not as red as the Essie shade. It's a little bit more orange, but and a little bit lighter. It's not as deep. But both of them are beautiful, both very pretty for fall, both make me hungry, and both make me want to have cake. Now I'm just giving you an overview of all the shades that I got. These are the three polishes that I had, just one of each in that brand, and it's primary colors, I just realized that. And then I had three of the Essie Expressy polishes. <laughs> but yeah, I think these are really cute. I have I have one more Essie. The only other Essie that I owned before this haul was one of the Expressies, and I think the bottles are really cute on these. Then I have four of the Essies in their just regular uh, bottles, and that is a very interesting color combination, I'm just realizing. And two of those were from that like back to school uh, collection. And I had four of the shades in like the old classic twisted bottle. Honestly, I feel like this could be like a fall collection all on its own. Those four shades, all th four of them, I was going to say all three of the four shades, all four of them would be perfect for fall. And then I had four of the Ella and Mila polishes. And I like that I showed you these because you can see those three like really pastel shades. You have the purple, the pink and the real neutral cool tone tan and then obviously the gray but yeah i think those are such pretty shades they're just very classic then we have my olive and june polishes honestly i was very impressed with the formula on these like i said before and i will 100 percent be keeping the uh the nail treatment polishes in my collection at all times i was just so impressed with those and lastly, we have my 10 over 10 polishes. These are probably my favorite find out of everything. They might not necessarily be like my favorite color, which I love the colors too, but there's something about these bottles. They just made me feel fancy and I liked it. 
But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you think of this haul. What was your favorite color? Do you have these brands? Do you like these brands? Please let me know below. But I love you guys and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.